Hi guys, my name is Colton with Revolution Machine Tools. Today we're going to talk about the TGB8 a little bit more. Um, we've done some videos about 2 inch and 4 inch uh, grooving. Today we're going to demonstrate on 6 inch stainless steel pipe. Um, we're also going to go over the control and the capabilities and the functions of the machine. Alright, so today we're going to go over the TGB8's controller. We're using the Fnook controller. Um, we're going to go over some of the features and capabilities and nice things about the control that make it easier and more less likely to be confusing to your operator. Um, the nice thing is, is when you're testing out a program or proving a new uh, part that you got to do, you can single block it, which that means is you can go step by step and go through your program and make sure it's not going to crash or you're going to hit your tolerances and all that. Um, some other nice things is you can control your spindle speed even while the machine is already going. If you've already programmed S550 or whatever, you need a little bit more speed, you can bump it up. You can also control your feed rate. Um, another nice thing is the clamping control that's on this is nice is because if you've got a thinner wall pipe and you don't want to put as much pressure on it and oval shape it, you can adjust the torque that is put on your pipe. So this machine is capable of doing a thin wall pipe as well, beveling, threading, grooving. Um, the other nice thing is, is you can have the same dead stop over and over and over. There's a stop that comes down, you push your part up to it, uh, pull up your stop and then push go and you're ready to go. Um, the other nice thing is you can store a bunch of different programs in here. So if you've got um, different job numbers that you do over and over and over and your operator gets the job number, he can pull it up, touch off his uh, piece that he has in the machine and then start cutting chips. All right, now we're gonna run the machine. Now that we have a program that we have proven and all that and everything's ready to good to go, I'm gonna show you how to start the machine. So after you go through here, you're gonna take it out of your edit mode. You're gonna hit the reset button, that way it goes to the top of your program. You're gonna kick it over into auto. Make sure all your speeds and feeds are good. And all you're gonna do is push start and you're ready to go.